Hello, ladies and germs. This is Joker, and I am back with another redstone tutorial. And today's is an item elevator. Right, before we get into this tutorial, let me just quickly explain what's going on. The reason I have two here is uh, red. This is very um, directional dependent on how you have it in your world. I think this is the north to south. And I think this is the east to west. I'm not 100%, so don't quote me on that. But if I put items in, I can show you what's actually happening for both of them. Mind your ears, guys. This might get a bit noisy. So, as you can see, every time that comparator there turns on, it will turn this torch off, which turns the redstone line off. But because it's on top of the comparator, it's actually updating itself, which then updates all the comparators in turn now if we can see this when it turns off you will actually see them pulse from top uh, from bottom to top and actually turn off which clears the system so hopefully no items get stuck in there but unfortunately this system right here the one before the top and i've tried this many a times on a lot bigger circuits this one always leaves one block in there it's not a huge problem it gets cleared the next time and another block replaces it or whichever item or whatever you're using the only thing i would suggest is ensure that you've got a buffer up here um i'd probably say these designs are better off using uh item streams rather than chests. but i'm only using chests to show you guys at least the concept so the foot plate for this design is a four by four but the actual elevator itself is only a one by three so that's all the technical stuff out of the way let's get to building okay ladies and germs all you are going to need for this build today is droppers depending on how high you want one block for every height you go up uh same for the observers you will need one block of your choice uh one chest for the top or maybe even two hopper comparator torch and I think five bits of redstone don't quote me on that so the first thing you want to do is start the elevator so you've got your four by four here come to this block uh, crouch and place up how many you want three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah let's go eleven right now put in your hopper then come to the dispenser here place down your comparator place down your block torch on the side of that block with a piece of redstone there right now let's get to the technical stuff an observer there and make sure the redstone signal is oh, that's actually the wrong way you want the redstone signal facing that way so it goes into the dispenser you then also want to place another observer this way so the uh, redstone output is this side. You then want to go ahead and place redstone on top of that. That now primes the system. And then come here. Shift. Oh, that's the wrong way again. Do apologize. You want another one just there. Now, uh, you will need some building blocks for this. I suggest you go up using your building blocks this may due to it makes it a lot easier and for every other dispenser to say i have an observer there so i want to miss a space and you just want to put observers and make sure you miss a block i definitely think i miscalculated anyway doesn't matter too much about the height this works all the way down now the system is almost ready all you want to do is grab your observers again come to above this redstone dust place your observer so the redstone signal is pointing up to you and just repeat the pattern like a soul oh i seem to be in the way of that block whoops Oh yeah, and for God's sake, don't forget to put a chest at the top, or you will have a mess to deal with. Right, let's take 
have a stack of blocks. Stick them in the hopper. And watch her run. Now remember guys what I said earlier about the um, finicky redstone at the minute. This design is the same for both directions. Uh, so don't worry about it too much. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems. Uh, I should be able to help you out. If not, uh, I will definitely get back to you. But thank you, ladies and germs. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that like button. And if you've really enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. But I've been Joker, and I will see you in a mini money mo. Ta-ta for now.